Hello, good morning, I hope you are fine. Child of God, it's two days to Christmas and I remember that when I was a kid, this was the day that we did the general house cleaning. We would bring out everything, we would clean the house, we would rearrange the parlor, we would try to make sure that the house was ready for the big feast of Christmas. And as I have grown older and while looking at today's readings, I find that that is highly theological. All we were doing as kids, what we thought was just cleaning the house is very, very important. Because today is actually the day of cleaning before Christmas. Now, our first reading today talks to us about the fact that Elijah had to come. Elijah had to come before the Messiah would come. And the Gospel reading of today, which is taken from Luke chapter 1, from verses 57 to 66, talks to us about the birth of John the Baptist. Of course, we know that John the Baptist is the new Elijah. He is the promised Elijah who was to come. Now, how do all of this relate to cleaning? Now, when you are cleaning, the first thing you do, or at least one of the things you do, which I want to talk to you first about this morning, is arranging, putting things in order, creating a hierarchy of what is important and what is not important. The connection with that to the readings of today is that the name Elijah, which is Elisha, or Elijah in, in Hebrew, but um, Elias in Greek, actually means Yahweh is my God, or the Lord is my God. That name is not just innocuous if you think about the context in which Elijah lived. What it meant was that at the time, many people were choosing different things as gods. Today, people have their God as power, or money, or sex, or whatever else it is. God, according to Anselm of Canterbury, is that other than which nothing greater can be conceived. In other words, the thing to which you are called the highest importance is your God. It doesn't matter whether you call it your God or not. If your phone, if your friends, if your house, if your money, if your power or your partner is the thing or the person to which you are called the most importance in your life, that is your God. So Elijah, the name Elijah, reminds us that Yahweh has to be that to which or to whom we are called the highest importance. And that is the message of Christmas, that God is at the center of our lives, that God is our Lord and the Lord is our God. So when you rearrange your life in this way, God will begin to see God move in different ways in your life. So that's the first thing. In doing our own internal spiritual cleaning, we have to rearrange things in such a way that God occupies the most important place in our lives. So that's, the, that's the meaning of the name Elijah. Yahweh is the most important thing to me. God is the most important person in my life. So that's the first thing, arranging, making sure that everything is in its proper place. The second thing is from the name John. The name John means God has done me favor or God has shown me mercy. That is why in many African parishes today, people will line up in long lines going to confession. Today is also a day to clean out our consciences. You see, child of God, when you are cleaning your house, one of the things you want to do is to make sure that there's no dirt lurking somewhere in the house. That's exactly the message of the name, John. God is willing to show us mercy today. So it's a day to go to confession, to reconcile with the family members, to clean out the within so that you can become that that is pleasing to God. Now, the final thing I'd like to show to you is that when John the Baptist was born, his father, Zachariah, was unable to speak at the time and so they gave him a tablet to write upon and then he wrote that his name is John. This was surprising to everybody given that he couldn't hear or speak and meanwhile his wife Elizabeth had already said she wanted him to be called John meaning that of course that that was because the angel had revealed the name to both of them. Child of God and then the people were surprised and they began to say what is this child going to become? One of the things that can happen as you try to do a general cleaning of your house is that you might encounter something that you were not expecting. There might be something that is uncertain. There might be some discovery. Today, the Lord is inviting us not to be afraid to look into ourselves. Even those things that we are uncertain about. As the new year approaches, the Lord is telling us, you don't know what this new year is going to bring, but don't be afraid because I am with you. That is the message of Christmas. God is with us. Let's not be afraid to do our general cleaning today. Whatever we discover, let's know that God is willing to take care of it with us. The mighty God bless and keep you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.